Were you aware, were, were both of you aware of what she did for a living? I mean, did she give any indications she had access to classified information and was thinking about, you know, doing something like this? No. Um, she, um, you know, for obvious reasons, she didn't share what she did. I didn't know what company she worked for. I didn't know, yeah. I mean, anything. I mean, it was just, I mean, it's a rule that you just, you don't ask. You just, you just, I don't, you know, I didn't know what she did. Um, I don't know what she did when she went to work. No idea whatsoever. Yeah. Billy, can I ask, I mean, if in fact she did what, what she's being accused of doing, what do you feel about that? Well, uh, well, let me say this. I don't care what they accused her of doing. I know that she, she served her country. She's a veteran in the United States Air Force and served with distinction for six years. She's a patriot and to see her maligned and slandered in the media is, is very disheartening. Um, this young lady has served her country well yeah. and received praise <coughs> from her commanders and uh, she still continued to serve after she got out of the Air Force. Yeah. And I just want to say that if she did what she's being accused of, she is, I know that she's ready to pay the price. I know that she she's she's going to do whatever she needs to do to pay that price. Um, our fear, my my biggest fear in in all of this is that she's not going to get a fair a fair trial. She's not going to be treated fairly. She's going to be made an example of, and um, that's that's my biggest fear. I'm terrified for her right now because of the 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 news, the climate, the social media. I'm terrified that she is not going to be treated fairly. You believe she will be made an example of? I, yes, I do.